Hey guys, part 3 of the enemy turret. In this section we're going to be going through setting up weapons and getting them firing. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on that. First thing we want to do is we're going to create a custom event. Uh, so I'm just going to right click, custom event, and I'm going to name this fire weapons. And off of fire weapons we're going to grab a delay and we have a duration down here. We're going to come and grab a variable we created earlier called fire interval. We're going to get that and plug that in here. Now essentially what this is going to do, grab the wrong one there, um, is this is going to determine how fast um, our turrets can fire. Um, after our delay we're going to grab a node called spawn actor from class. We're going to need two of these so I'm just going to control C, control V and we'll plug those into one another and for the class this is where I'm going to select uh, my projectile now I've created a custom projectile if you don't have one or you don't know how to create one you can go to one of my previous videos and I can show you how to do that so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our turret guns again and off of that pin we need to get socket transform and we're going to need two of these as well uh, now what this node does is this node allows you to find a socket by its name and get its uh, location. So we're going to get the location of the sockets we created um, in our mesh earlier. Uh, the first one I have is called barrel underscore one and the second one is barrel underscore two. Um, so now that we have those, um, we can get their location and apply that to our spawn actor. Now we just need to call our fire weapons custom event. And I'm just going to comment this out here. We'll say uh, fire weapons. And if you don't know how to comment, um, what you can do here is um, I'll just show you real quick is just select all of your nodes press the letter C on the keyboard and then just type in whatever you want the comment to be this one is fire weapons for me um, so I'm compile there real quick and now up here um, in our game loop um, after we update our rotation we're gonna call fire weapons and I'm just going to compile and save again and I'll hop back into the editor and you'll see once I do that my turret is firing weapons at me um, wherever the turret goes the weapons fire okay so now that we have that set up um, the only issue that I see with this besides uh, doing a few minor tweaks here is no matter where the player is um, the turrets going to be firing at you and instantly from when the game starts so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pause it here and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to set up um, detecting range whether the players in range or not